previous lesson, we managed to get Marduk installed up and running, and now we have to do the actual cron jobs to make sure all the behind the plumbing of Marduk is working perfectly. And unfortunately, there's, there's no two ways about it. You're just gonna have to come into your cPanel and set these cron jobs up. So the way you wanna do that is come over here and select cron jobs in your cPanel. And over here, you can actually add the cron jobs. Now, the Modic themselves have documentation. So if you look at the Modic documentation on the cron jobs, they will tell you which cron jobs here you need to, to execute. Um, now this might look like a lot, but it, it isn't that bad. So stay with me here. Um, the, the three primary ones are these. You want to up, be able to update the segments, update campaigns, and trigger actions off of those campaigns. So um, these need to be set up in, in your, as, as three separate crons. And then we'll set up a couple more um, that will just round out your, your modic installation. So note that this comment here, in fact, I missed this when I first set up modic. Yeah, it is highly recommended that you stagger the following required jobs as not to run at the exact same minute. So we want to run each of these every 15 minutes, but stagger them so that they're not running at the same moment every 15 minutes. This one runs at 0, 15, 30, and 45, 5, 20, 35, 50, etc. So they're staggered with the execution. Um, you can choose what time frame. You can run it every minute if you wanted to, every 5 minutes, 10 minutes, you know, 15, 30, some hosts actually will restrict you running it too frequently. So just keep that in mind. Um, let's just go with the default of 0, 15, 30, 45 for the modic segments uh, update command. So how do we do this? Here we, let's just scroll down a little bit. So the segments one, this is how you enter your cron drop. PHP path to modic app console. Now remember I told you to remember in your file manager what this path over here is, home slash lead theory, because that's this, this path. So mine is slash home slash lead theory and then slash modic, which is where we installed our modic. So the easiest thing I think to do is to put all of these in a notepad and then edit them. So let's take a look which ones we need. Um, you do need these three, but let's go through the required list here. Segments, so we must have this one. It's under the required list. Uh, let me copy this to Notepad. And, well, it's already there, but let me just update it. Now, this is how they are saying you should enter the cron job, that it's your PHP command, and then the path to your modic installation. Now, in my case, if you go back to the file manager, which is why I told you to pay attention to this, my directory is slash home slash lead theory slash public html slash modic that's the location of my modic install so if i go to my notepad here that's what i've replaced the path to with slash home slash lead theory slash public html and then the rest is as they've provided it so you just need to find out where your modic install is from an absolute path perspective and replace this path two with yours. And uh, again, just use your file manager to get a sense of where that is. So we look at the three required, which is segments, campaigns rebuild, and campaigns trigger. And that's what these first three are. I've already set them up with the right path. You need to also add messages send if you're using marketing campaigns, which we did in my course. I recommend going ahead and adding that. Optional, go ahead and add email send, email fetch, and you need this for, for bounce management to be able to report uh, emails that, that bounced and, and didn't work properly. And then social monitoring, I recommend you add because you can actually monitor your Twitter stream to see if somebody has uh, mentioned you or search for a has hashtag, which is a really neat feature. So 
these are all the ones that I need for my modic install and will pretty much uh, set you on your way as well. So we've got to come in and add all of these into our cron job. So let's, uh, let's get going here. Um, now cron, this is uh, one of those wonderful Unix commands that can be uh, extremely confusing, but stick with me. So if you saw on the modix documentation, They recommend you run the segment update every 15 minutes, but stagger them. So we're going to run this first set 0, 15, 30, 45. So let me copy that. So this is telling Unix that on the 0 minute, the 15 minute, the 30 minute, and the 45 minute, we want to run this command. And we want to do it every hour of every day, of every month every weekday. So it's going to run 0, 15, 30, and 45 minutes of every hour, of every day, of every month, of every, of, of every day. Now, what command do we want to run? Well, we already have them now in our notepad, so this is pretty easy. I can come and take the segments update and put that in and add that cron job. So now we've added the first one. Now we've got to come in and add the second one. All right, let's add the second one. And again, Modic recommended that this we rep, run this one 5, 20, 35, and 50. So every fifth minute, 20th minute, 35th minute, and 50th minute. So let's go ahead, and I'm just going to cut and paste it from the Modic documentation. Again, every hour, every day, every month, and every day of the week. And now we need the command, so we'll just come over here to my notepad where I already have them. And we will add new cron job. Excellent. So we already have uh, two of these guys done. So you can see it's not so bad once you've got them uh, already configured in your notepad. Um, so let's take a look back at the cron job documentation, the campaign trigger one to run 10. 25, 40, and 55. So let's take that one and go back to our cron job, paste that in every hour, every day, every month, every weekday, and go to our notepad and let's grab that command and paste it in there and add that cron job. Excellent. So we have those three staggered at that time. The rest are in fact a little easier because I can just use the common settings. Now I'm going to just run the others every 15 minutes or so. So this is, for example, uh, let's say uh, even twice per hour is sufficient. Um, so we choose twice per hour and it'll automatically fill in everything else. And let's get these guys in there. So we'll do this. Add that cron job twice per hour, add this one, twice per hour, add our social monitoring, and I certainly think twice per hour is sufficient, you know, every 30 minutes I'm going to check if someone's mentioned this, I don't need any more real time than that, and then finally, check for email bounces and we will also do that uh, twice per hour and add that cron job and there you go that was absolutely the hardest part but as long as you can figure out this location you're you're in good shape um, coming into cpanel cron job editor you'll get the hang of it um, a common mistake or not mistake but potential problem here is if your PHP command is not found um, in this root directory, if you will, or not specifying a directory, uh, in which case ask your hosting company where PHP is found uh, from a command line perspective. You can see it might be under user local bin PHP, just like my pull is here. But in my case, and in most cases, I see PHP uh, is, is, is available just like this without qualifying it with a path. But if you are having issues, um, it's either going to be because you couldn't find the PHP or because of this path being incorrect. Um, 
you can provide an email address here and that will uh, actually update, send you a, a report or a, you know uh, I guess a report it'll send you the output of the cron job every time it runs so initially for debugging purposes um, it can be beneficial so that is setting up the cron jobs and you are now done and you can use your very own hosted instance of modic and again my word of caution is make sure you set backups in place i use the whm on my hosting company to automatically back this up into my amazon s3 storage every day so that uh, if something does go wrong i i have it all remember modic is going to become central to your entire operation yeah and all your contacts and lead history and your assets and everything's going to be in here so look after it um, separately we can look at configuration settings uh, that you might want to come into especially if it's the first time coming in here um, you might want to set up you know your time zone and things of that nature but i think we'll cover that in a separate video just having gotten this installed, I think is a, is a good victory for you. So congratulations again on that and enjoy Modic. And if you don't know Modic yet, by all means, uh, check out my course on Modic, which walks you through from beginning to, to really pretty sophisticated users. So good luck and hopefully I'll talk to you soon. And please share comments uh, you know, below or next to this video. Help others out um, if they've got issues you know, send your questions to me. I'll try and help out. And uh, I think the Mardi community will get you up and running. All right. With that, I hope you found it useful and good luck and, and happy using Mardi. Bye-bye.